The Eastern Gate, a gateway of prophecy and faith. Welcome, God blessings for you channel. Here on the eastern side of the Temple Mount, next to the famous and historic entrance known by many titles, the eastern entrance, the Golden Gate, the Gate of Mercy, as the Eighth Gate, foretold to remain locked until the King of Glory returns, this gate is quite important. The prophecy holds that he will arrive on the Mount of Olives, shaking the ground, sending waves across, and his throne will materialize. Faced toward the Mount of Olives, Jerusalem, an ancient city full of significance and history, features this gate on its eastern wall. Though wrecked by the Romans after the destruction of the temple in 70 AD, the eastern gate is still a cherished site for the three great religions of the globe. Pilgrims from all around travel to the old city annually to see its grandeur. One of only two historic gates allowing access from the east into Jerusalem's old city, the Gate of Mercy as it is known in Hebrew, is the only entryway on the eastern side of the Temple Mount. Resilient since medieval times, it has fulfilled the prophecy written in Ezekiel that it shall remain sealed until the second coming of Jesus. Built roughly in the 6th or 7th century AD, this gate, the oldest in the old city, provides the most direct path to the Temple Mount. In religious tradition, it is especially important for Jews who see it as the spot from where the Messiah would enter Jerusalem mounted on a white donkey. It is thought that Jesus arrived in Jerusalem via this particular gate in Matthew 21, so stressing its spiritual and historical relevance. On the western side of the Temple Mount, next to the gate, is the rock within the Dome of the Rock Shrine, thought to represent the location where Abraham meant to offer his son Isaac his sacrifice. Therefore, the eastern entrance represents the hopes for the reconstruction of the temple and the appearance of the Messiah, therefore acting as the focal point for prayer, hope, and trust. In 1541, the Ottoman Sultan locked the gate in its present form. Known as the Golden Gate, it is important to Jews who pray close to it since it provides the most direct access to the place where the Jewish temple formerly stood. Dating from the 16th century, the gates outside shows a sealed double entry leading into two vaulted halls. The book of Ezekiel makes references to a gate facing east. Rising east of the city to the Mount of Olives, the prophet sees the glory of the Lord leaving the temple at the east gate. Ezekiel later witnesses the brightness of the Lord returning by the gate facing east to the temple. This gate is said to be closed with just one person, a prince, allowed to pass through to present offerings to the Lord. Jewish belief maintains that riding on a donkey, the Messiah will pass by Eastern Gate into the Temple Mount. Learning of this custom, it is reported that the Arabs sealed the gate with stone to stop its fulfillment. But Christians hold that Jesus fulfilled this prophecy when he arrived in Jerusalem via the gate on a white donkey prior to Passover, an event observed as completing the prophecy of Daniel 9.25. Millions of Christian pilgrims come to this spot annually since they regard it as a major pilgrimage site. Situated opposite from the Temple Mount, the Mount of Olive is thought to be the burial location of those who hope to be revived upon the Messiah's arrival via the Eastern Gate and thereby establish the Messianic Kingdom. God's atonement and atonement plan has included the Eastern Gate of the Walled City throughout biblical times. For individuals of other religions, it is still a majestic and enigmatic monument with great historical and theological value. One sees the triumphal entry as entering the temple. Since the Lord has entered the gate, the sequence to permanently shut it is understood as a prophecy of the Eastern Eastern Gate being walled up by Muslims in 1540. The Eastern Gate of Jerusalem was called the Shushan Gate until the Gate of Mercy came to be. The gate facing east became known as the Shushan Gate, once Solomon's temple was destroyed during Nehemiah's lifetime and the Judeans came back to rebuild it. This gate was not only fixed but also guarded, therefore attracting particular attention. During the rule of Hezekiah a century later, it was reported as a guarded entrance. Jewish history holds that the Shushan Gate was important during Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement during the Second Temple Era. Old Jewish records detail the purchase of two goats at the East Gate for the atonement rite. One goat was offered in the temple courtyard. The other, known as the scapegoat, was dispatched via the Eastern Gate following high priest confession over the sins of the Israelites. According to custom, this scapegoat passed via the East Gate, 
via a path to the Mount of Olives, and finally into the Judean wilderness. Many think the Shushan Gate, unearthed beneath the present Gate of Mercy in 1969, was lower than other gates, and matched the Mount of Olive, inner and outer court gates, and the temple entrance. This alignment allowed the high priest, carrying out purification rites on the Mount of Olives, to see over the Shushan Gate and into the temple's sanctuary. For Christians, Jesus' arrival through this gate on Palm Sunday, down from the Mount of Olives, marks the beginning of a fresh covenant atonement for all people. Hosanna, the people unintentionally chose Jesus as their Messiah, the Lamb of God who would wipe away the sins of the earth by waving palm branches and screaming. Jesus would be executed just four days later, serving as the last sacrifice lamb and ultimate scapegoat. Islam holds, in line with what Christians also believe, that on Judgment Day, good Muslims who get God's favor will pass through the gate. Jewish legend also holds that Arabs have historically aspired to occupy this position in order to stop the Jewish Messiah and Prophet Elijah from passing Eastern Gate. Muslims' attempts to stop the Jewish Messiah from arriving via the Eastern Gate of Mercy seem fruitless nevertheless. Any closed gate or cemetery cannot stop Yeshua, who accomplished amazing deeds including walking on water and rising from a sealed tomb. It is hypothesized that the Shushan Gate might be buried under the modern Gate of Mercy, perhaps fulfilling Zechariah's Messiah prophecy by allowing Jeshua ride through on a lowly donkey to pass over the Passover lambs. Maybe Yeshua will return by the Eastern Gate of Mercy. The present Gate of Mercy, meantime, can be interpreted as a sign of God's merciful scheme of atonement for mankind. Within the Muslim faith, the two doors of the Dome of the Rock Shrine have great connotations. The southern door stands for charity while the northern door marks atonement. Built as a shrine with a grand dome, the Dome of the Rock lies to the left of the Temple Mount gates. Muslims visit this spot year-round, particularly on holy days, believing that Muhammad went to heaven here. Archaeologists and historians consider the continuous excavations under the eastern wall of the Temple Mount as absolutely vital since they could expose further riches. Among the amazing finds are Solomon's stables, built from recycled Herodian stones. Their age is still under dispute among experts. These digs, in spite of uncertainty, keep revealing secrets under the Eastern Gate and the Temple Mount, so enhancing our knowledge of this holy site.